The Devils reject. Three men in control of two thirds of the Golden Anarchy. It came on by! Came on by! It takes out all three members of the Devils reject. And right now, Greg Hunter, it's do or die. It's now or never. It's kids, the Devils reject. It's the NWA elite. This is an issue that has gone on and on and on for 20 months. The elite and the rejects have been at odds. One would have thought a year ago on this very event at the Georgia Mountain Center, it would have been settled. War games, the match beyond, when Shatter forced Iceberg to submit in the match beyond. But that was as if it were only the beginning. Now it has come to this. After anarchy rules, after war games, after everything these two men, these two teams have gone through with championship implications, with chases, with defenses, what we have here tonight, now or never, no uh, to pun intended, do or die for the NWA elite. This is a position, and we saw it last time on NWA Anarchy on our television program, a look of certain desperation and concern on the face of Jeff G. Bailey when Shatter entered the ring against Osriel in order to earn this match. And that was now or never. The gauntlet laid down. We've got six men. The return of Abomination to the NWA arena. We've got six men here together. It's three on three. Why not put all the gold on the line? And now we have it. We have Shatter, the former Anarchy Heavyweight Champion. We have Kimo, the Butcher of Pyongyang. We have the monstrous abomination. These men, the opposition for the NWA Elite, Sean Tempers and Osriel, the Anarchy Tag Team Champions three times around, and the biggest Anarchy Heavyweight Champion. Oh, good Lord, wait a minute, he's looking at it quick. Shatter looking for PTSD very quickly. The last man on this team is the man that at Hardcore Hell dethroned the second longest reigning heavyweight champion in Anarchy history, the Universal Soldier Shatter, and that is the reigning champion, Iceberg. Greg Hunter, you mentioned war games from last year. That was just a tea party for these two teams. That was a little get together. These two teams have shed blood. The players may have changed throughout the, throughout the tenure of the 20 months, but the underlying thing has always been the same. The hatred between Dan Wilson and Jeff G. Bailey. Dan Wilson has admitted he looked up to Jeff G. Bailey. He learned a lot from Jeff G. Bailey, but at the same time, this all started back at Fright Night 06 when it was Jeff G. Bailey lending out the services of the Monster Abyss to Team Anarchy, and it has not, for one moment, settled or simmered since then. Look at this. The martial arts expertise of the Korean assassin. You see the name, the characters on the side of his pants. I know that. I, I'm very I'm very fluent in Korean knees. That says Kimo. Well, I know it says chemo. It's just Korean. It's not Koreanese. No, no, no. It's Japanese, Chinese, Filipinese, and Koreanese. Go ahead, sir. But never mind. Iceberg with that big Samoan drop. Chemo, who seemingly see, feels no pain. Iceberg, the expression on his face. Chemo with that big chop fells the mighty Iceberg like a redwood. But one thing, Greg Hunter, one thing that I've noticed about Chemo. We, Jeff G. Bailey has had an effect on this man. Not, this man is a butcher. This man is a killer. He has killer instincts. But notice how he laid off when Iceberg was in the corner. Even Chemo knew that three-on-one odds do not play well in his favor. One has to remember. We've seen Chemo for a little less than two months. Chemo right now tagged out by Abomination. Kimo looking a little reluctant to leave. I'm sure that Jeff G. Bailey, good Lord, the only man in this match that can match the mighty iceberg for sheer size, abomination. We have here in Kimo a man who's never been formally trained to compete as a wrestler. Correct. 
He knows the odds. He knows a fight. He knows combat. He knows torture. These are all things he's very well versed with, and that will serve him very well with a mastermind like Jeff G. Bailey at ringside. You don't believe me? Ask the Universal Soldier, Phil Shatter, a man who is very well versed, cover only a one count, very well versed in professional wrestling, likewise versed in combat. He is an ex-Marine. The man under Jeff G. Bailey's tutelage became Anarchy Heavyweight Champion for some seven months, took on the very best in all comers. Right now, he is in a very precarious position as Sean Tempers and Osriel, the well-oiled tag team champions, are having their way with the Universal Soldiers. Greg Hunter, for the last six and a half months, Sean Tempers and Osriel, the Devil's Rejects, have reigned as tag team champions. Now, this is their longest reign holding the tag team titles. And they, I'll tell you something right now. This team, they have always, always been in control. But as vicious and as in control as they've looked, over the last three months or so, we have seen a bit of vulnerability in the Devil's Reject with Sean Timbers and Osreo barely holding on to those tag team titles in some key matches on NWA Anarchy Television. We have seen the Rejects time and time again resort to the count out the disqualification in order to retain their titles. This is no surprise, but good Lord, Iceberg misses his target. As I was going to say, this is no surprise. Iceberg levels the Universal Soldier, but we have a cover. Referee Brent Wiley in position, only a two count. The Rejects have never really cared too much about wins and losses. That is an established fact. They like to hurt people, and they like to have their way. And there is no better way to be in control of your situation in the world of professional wrestling than to have the gold. And right now, 75% of the championship gold in NWA Anarchy resides at the compound. Well, you know something, another thing too, Greg Hunter, and you know, reading the language of this match, I mean, I'm no attorney, that's why I hired Jeff G. Bailey. Reading the language of this match, the Devil's Rejects really do not have to win this match in order to cheat the, the uh, NWA Elite out of a title shot ever again. If they get disqualified, the, a the NWA Elite does not walk out with a championship. There go, they'll never receive another title match again. The stipulation is very simple. Either A, a member of the Devil's Rejects will be panned or forced to submit in that event that member will lose their respective title to the NWA Elite. B, the NWA Elite will be defeated by the Devil's Rejects. If that happens, simply put, never again do the Elite get another title shot. But, as you pointed out, the Elite has to leave with a championship in order to avoid that fate. So should they win, good Lord, what a right hand, count out or disqualification, that they win the match, the Rejects keep the titles, and thus, the Elite doesn't get another shot. So, I mean, you know, I mean, this is the biggest championship advantage that you could even imagine, Greg Hunter. I mean, usually, you know, if the champions lose by disqualification or countout, all that means is that the, the winner of the match will get another title shot. We've seen that. We've seen that with the Wild Bunch. We've seen that with the New Wave. Here tonight, the same does not play true for the NWA Elite. Aptly named, now or never. Osriel hits nothing but turnbuckle. And now the Universal Soldier trying to press an advantage. Back elbow, cover, deep hook of the leg. Barely a two count. And now to the eyes goes the son of Satan. Tag to the Anarchy Heavyweight Champion. Greg Hunter, while you've been watching the action, I've been trying to keep an eye on the facial express expressions of Jeff G. Bailey, and much like you said, the last time we saw him on NWA Anarchy Television, there was a lot of reserve. There was a lot of reserve in the look. There was a lot of, you know, moments of anxiousness, I guess you could say, in the face of Jeff G. Bailey. And I had to say that it looks doubly that time, although there is that there that air of confidence that we see in Jeff G. Bailey as well. If you look at the men involved. Right now as the Universal Soldier fires away at the Anarchy Champion, and the Anarchy Champion with the power slam, look at the leg, only a two count. Jeff G. Bailey, it is an expression we've yet never seen really before. Worry, reserve, 
the look on the face of the Reverend Dan Wilson honestly is likewise because he didn't think this would make it past Osriel on Anarchy Television just a couple of weeks ago. Now all his gold is up for grabs. I'll be honest with you, Greg Hunter. I don't think that uh, the Devil's Reject thought this would have made it quite past last year's Hardcore Hell during the Anarchy Rules match. I don't think the Rejects would have ever, you know, pictured this going this long. 20 months? Are you kidding me, Greg Hunter? This is an issue that has been outstanding for quite some time. The longest running rivalry in Anarchy history as the mighty iceberg now applies a head scissor to the former holder of that heavyweight title, the Universal Soldier Shatter, trying with those massive legs to cut off the air supply of the Universal Soldier, a little extra added leverage from the son of Satan at ringside up on the apron. The tag team champions looking on. It is worth duly noting Iceberg, no stranger to tag team competition. Tag, in comes Osriel. Iceberg, a former co-holder of the Anarchy Tag Team titles in his own right, teaming with the Devil's Rejects, a group that he's been with now for many years. The opposition here, Shatter, Chemo, have not had time to gel as a team. Abomination hasn't been around for months on end. So this is a situation once again, good Lord, what a suplex for the Universal Soldier. A situation again, another advantage in the favor of cover, and only a two count. Another advantage for the Rejects. Well, Greg Hunter, you know, I, I said in the onset of the match here, the players have changed. When I say the players have changed, it's really for the NWA Elite and Jeff G. Bailey's team. He's really switched out a lot of the players. The Rejects have pretty much been solidified since day one with very minimal change within the roster of the reject. If you think back at the people that have been a part of the NWA elite throughout this war, I mean, it is a long list. Michael Judas no longer with the elite. Jeff Lewis, the sole assassin, Corey Chavis, all these men no longer members of the NWA elite, and yet they have fought this war in part. Right now, Iceberg and the rejects firmly in control of one of the three challengers in this match, the Universal Soldier Shatter, looking for the suplex. Shatter on his feet, not too long, belly to belly, and he takes him down hard. Well, Greg Hunter, you know how ironic is it here? Because it was that hostile environment, 05, when we received the very first glimpse of the rejects. We received the first mysterious tape, and it's come this far, Greg Hunter. And right now, Iceberg heading up to the high rent district. Iceberg is not in a place where he is accustomed. Right now, Shatter, good Lord! Iceberg, Iceberg able to shift his weight, crashes down on top of Shatter out of that attempted belly to back superplex. Very smart maneuvering by the Anarchy Heavyweight Champion. Greg Hunter, you know, we're, we are a long time in this match. It's a hot summer day here in, 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 you know, in Georgia. So, you know, the men are sweating, the perspiration's there. But able to shift your weight there the way he did is just amazing. And to do it in midair, too. And now, once again, as we have seen time and time again, oh, good Lord, what strength by the Universal Soldier, German suplex. These two men are no strangers. Cover two. It has been over a year since the first engagement between Shatter and Iceberg. It was Shatter hitting the PTSD and pinning Iceberg, becoming the first man in a very long time to be able to claim that, that earned him his place among the elite. It was at War Games where he became the first man to make Iceberg submit, tag to Chemo. Chemo is hitting everybody. Chemo now sends the man for the ride. What a kick. Chemo got some height. Cover, only a two count. Shatter has now the heavyweight champion after sending Shaw Tempers to the corner, diverted his attention. 
abomination, a monster literally waiting to be unleashed on the apron. And Greg Hunter, I mean, this right here, I mean, this is, this is what you expect from the rejects and the elite. It's broken down in the ring here. And now Jet G. Bailey and Dan Wilson, both of them in the ring, and get taken out by Iceberg and Chatter. And now, train wreck in the center of the ring. Shatter and Iceberg literally holding each other up. And now, the heavyweight champion and former champion trade blows, and they both go down. Greg Hunter, what a rivalry it's been between these two men. And I'll tell you something right now. I know both these men. I know Iceberg very well. I know Shatter very well. And this goes much deeper than that Anarchy Heavyweight Championship. Sure, that's the ultimate prize. But another ultimate prize in this one, personal pride. Chemo, unless I am horribly mistaken, is the legal man for the elite. I'm not entirely certain who, oh good grief. Spear, and both Iceberg and Shatter fall to the arena floor. Referee Brent Wiley, well within his rights to begin a 10 count. But and he is letting it go. And the person in the best shape, or the monster, I should say, Abomination, has a, <laughs> is right over here with checking on Jeff G. Bailey. Dan Wilson crawling away there. Just had a camera shot. Oh, Wait good a God! Good grief! Chemo sent, nearly wiped out the cameraman and a security guard. Wait a minute, look in the ring. Right now, Shatter has a cluster on Sean Tempers. Abomination just crashed into the guardrail. We got Ice tables set up over here on the stairs, Greg Hunter. We certainly do. Abomination. Abomination is on that table. Iceberg is set up. Oh, God! Oh! Iceberg with that rolling senton just crashed and burned. I believe Sean Tempers and Chemo are the legal men. Where is Chemo? I have no clue. Sean Tempers, well, where Chemo? Actually, Chemo's right below our announce position. He got thrown over here just a few minutes ago looking for the Bielzel bomb. Is Sean Temper, side rushing leg sweep. He rolls through and has the man set up in a cross face looking for it. Cross face applied to Sean Tempers by Shatter. Osriel makes the save on that one. Well, Greg Hunter, I mean, right there, very, very, very close to Sean Tempers having out, but it wouldn't have mattered any because, like you said, I, I do believe Chemo is the legal man. And right now, setting up for the Hellhammer in the ring. They hit the Hellhammer on the Universal Soldier, covered by Osriel. Brent Wiley, Brent Wiley explaining that Shatter's not the legal man. Jeff G. Bailey taking his life in his hands. He just pulled Sean Tempers out of the way. Sean Tempers is stalking the agent attorney. Jeff G. Bailey heads for high ground, and Sean Tempers got wiped out by Chemo. Shatters down. Osriel, who's the legal man for the rejects, is up. Chemo, Chemo, cross body. Chemo rolled through. Chemo has got the son of Satan up. Chemo has the man. Boom! Down goes Osriel to, and we got new tag team champions. Ladies and gentlemen, your winners of this match, Abomination.